Hey Libra, what's up? It's Ashley from Serendipity Tarot. Hope you guys are doing well. This is your general love reading. We're going to see what is going on for you guys in love. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right, take what resonates, leave the rest. Cross watches, you are welcomed here. Hello, hello. If you're interested in a personal love reading, check me out. The link is in the description box. You can also head over to my Etsy shop. I have my Oracle decks, my personal readings, my spiritual mystical jewelry. Favorite my shop. Connect with me on Instagram and Facebook if you're interested. All right. All right, Libra, we're going to see um, what is happening for you in love. Okay. If it resonates, just show me some love. Like, share, comment, and subscribe, all right? Your bonus, April 20th to the 30th, is up on Vimeo, all right? Be sure to check that out. I will have your May readings up soon as well, okay? And that looks at your person's feelings, emotions, what are they not saying, all that, all right? What's going on behind the scenes? All right, let's see what's going on. What's the current energy for Libra? Libra in love, please. What is Libra dealing with? Clear messages here for Libras. So the current energy is the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, the High Priestess, and the Seven of Wands. So I do feel like um, there was some kind of commitment here that you were in, or if you guys were working towards some kind of commitment here, okay? Um, it could be with a Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We also got Pisces here. Hey, Pisces. Um... I'm seeing that, you know, something here came out. Something was revealed. Maybe your person was holding back, okay? I'm getting a lot of guarded energy between you and your person. So some of you guys, you could have been dealing with someone who was very um, close off. Maybe they weren't telling you everything. There could have been some secrets. And it could have been something here that was revealed to you, okay? Some of you guys decided to block this person after finding out something here, okay? Something that was hidden from you. And I do feel whatever came out, it caused um, or sabotage this connection, right? It caused some kind of ending here with the Ten of Pentacles. All right, let's see. Some of you guys, you don't feel like this is worth fighting for, okay? That's that energy with the Seven of Wands, okay? You're, you're questioning if this is worth fighting for. Now, in the past, we had the Five of Pentacles, the King of Cups, and the Hermit, Virgo Energy. Hmm, okay. So it looks like there's definitely a separation that... um. You, you're separated from someone here, okay? Because someone is doing a lot of thinking. The other person may be feeling like distant. Maybe you guys are both feeling that energy of left out in the cold. But this is a time to do a lot of deep thinking, introspection. Really trying to figure out well, what do you want? What do you need, right? Can this person fulfill my needs? Because I do feel like whoever this person is, um, they have a lot of love for you, okay, Libra, um, they have a lot of love for you, but maybe they um, didn't always show it the way that they should, okay, let me put your sign up so I remember who I'm talking about, <laughs> all right, Libra, um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, yeah, I'm feeling like there's a lot to think about, something here could have came to light, and it, it caused you to really do some deep thinking, okay, yeah, um, I'm seeing that, um, there is a lot of physical distance between you guys, emotionally, physically, um, and it's telling me that you guys are definitely, someone has abandoned or just neglected the connection because of something that they found out. All right, let's see. What's on your mind, Libra? Two of Swords with the Eight of Pentacles. See, I think a lot of you guys are trying to make a decision, uh, uh, the best decision possible, right? Not just making any decision because you're using your logic. You're using your head, right? Libra, as an air sign, you're using your head, not your heart. And I feel a lot of you guys, um, if you are using your heart to make the decision, you guys would work on this connection. So I think a lot of you guys are trying to be super logical, right? You're not letting your feelings get in the way of your decision making. And I see that you guys are maybe making a decision, um, it's regarding working on the connection or committing to this connection or just it's investing. There's some kind of decision regarding investing. Should I put more time into this? Should I wait? Should I wait things out, right? Should I keep putting effort? Okay, let's get one more card here for Libra. Yeah, the two of wands. Someone has gotten you stuck. Someone may have been very indecisive about you, Libra. Okay, maybe they didn't really know what they wanted. All right, and they almost left you kind of like hanging there, not really sure what to do. I feel like a lot of you guys are waiting for this person to take some action towards you. Okay, all right, let's see what's going on. Um, I feel like whoever you're dealing with, yeah, they're very indecisive. And I think you guys are now taking it to your own um, to do something. 
Now, in the foundation, Libra, we had the Six of Pentacles in reverse. So you guys could be dealing with someone who wasn't really giving equally. Okay, there could have been some uh, a lack of reciprocity. Or you could be dealing with someone who was just breadcrumbing you, right? Not giving you enough, okay? Um, could have also been giving to other people, situations, other opportunities here. And I think you guys, some of you guys, you found out about this with the high priestess, right? Something came to light because whatever was hidden, uh, it's being revealed, okay? That high priestess in your person certainly could have been um, very mysterious, all right? And I I'm seeing that there was something regarding um, balance, okay? There was some balance issues in the connection. Um, I do see some of you guys could be dealing with a Gemini. Got the magician card, okay? So this is someone... Um, in their feelings and emotions, they're wanting to create with you. Okay, that they're definitely wanting to manifest, create. They feel like there's still some magic here, right? There's still something here that they believe in with regard to you and them. They feel like something here isn't done. Okay, we have the infinity sign on the hat. Something here isn't done. Something still has the power to move forward. But I also feel like this person's energy is telling me that they're stuck. Okay, they're trying to free themselves. Maybe your person's stuck in another situation. Okay, I'm taking how it resonates. Um, there's an energy of feeling stuck, feeling tied, feeling bound. Okay, now this could be physically, or this could be a mindset. It could be feeling mentally um, stuck in a situation in their head, or it could be literally them stuck in another uh, relationship of some sort. For your person, Libra, we have the Nine of Pentacles, so I do feel like um, this is someone who may want to be single right now okay they want to perhaps get back on your good side but they do feel that perhaps it's best for them to be single or maybe they're looking toward uh, being single again in order for them to create an opportunity here between you and them so some of you guys you are dealing with someone who perhaps maybe they um was involved with someone else maybe casually or some kind of situationship and it's almost as if like they're wanting to maybe cut ties and be by themselves so that they can perhaps work on the connection with you all right so that's what i'm seeing let's see what's coming in for you in this person libra okay we got the tower the king of swords and a temperance some of you guys are dealing with the sagittarius okay and scorpio i feel like there's a lot of avoidance coming into the moment okay your person is avoiding you there's definitely uh withholding of communication not talking not speaking leave me alone okay this could be your energy libra maybe you're not really interested in talking to them or or entertaining a conversation at this time there is an energy of someone losing their patience okay maybe you lost your patience someone's it's like, I don't know, this isn't for me anymore, okay? Or I'm just done with you. You had more than enough time, okay? So there's definitely some kind of avoidance, okay? Let's see. Let's get one more, two more cards here for the outcome. The Justice and the Knight of Cups, okay? So I do feel like after a period of not talking, someone is finally going to make some kind of um, advancement towards you. The Knight of Cups could be them saying, hey... Libra, I care about you. I want to make things better. I want to get on your good side. I want to apologize. There could be an apology with the Knight of Cups, okay? It's typically the Knight is in the pursuit of something, cup of love, right? Your person's in pursuit of expressing their feelings, emotions. So there's definitely someone coming to you, maybe with a bouquet of roses on a white horse, trying to make something better. And ultimately, there's, there's justice card here, right? This is your energy. This is someone who you're constantly on their mind, right? Um, and they also want to be fair now, right? They want to, they want to perhaps bring more balance into a situation here where maybe they weren't really doing things in balance. They weren't reciprocating. They weren't there for you. They may have been, you know, crumbing you, right? This is someone who wants to now do things in a fair, just manner. All right. So that's what I'm seeing. Um, but I think you guys are avoiding this person. <laughs> I think you guys are avoiding them. Um, I don't know what that's about. So let's let's get some clarity. I'm going to use the right away. If this is your reading, Libra, like, share, comment, and subscribe. And your bonus reading, how does this person feel? April 20th to the 30th is up on video. All right, some of you guys deal with the Pisces, okay? We got someone waiting. We got the Three of Wands wanted to come out. Someone's waiting, okay? After maybe something being revealed, okay and some kind of ending between you guys okay maybe again something came out and libra you decide you know what the same for me or whatever you found out something here it shook the ground of the connection someone became very guarded maybe you guys are both very guarded toward each other but it's almost like you guys are waiting even after some kind of ending here okay some of you guys could be dealing with a taurus a virgo capricorn and we got the chariot 
I'm seeing that your person wants a victory here with the chariot. They want to move forward in some kind of way with the chariot. This is about taking charge, right? Moving things forward. But I'm also feeling they may be waiting for something to happen. Some of you guys, they're not able to come towards you because they could be feeling in a place of lack right now or as if they don't have enough in their life to come towards you with. Maybe they feel like they have to have more or have an offer, right? Come in with something to offer in order for them to be victorious, What's happened in the past? The Hermit, Virgo, Energy, the Five of Pentacles, Temperance, and the Six of Wands. So yeah, I feel like, again, this is the patience energy. Someone was patient in the past. So Libra, you could have been overly patient, right? You gave this person your love. You gave them the benefit of the doubt. Um, you thought that this would be victorious. You thought that, you know, this person would do you right. You thought that they would appreciate you. They would respect you. But a lot of you guys instead, no, they left you feeling at a, in a place of lack. They made you feel alone. They made you feel like you were the only one perhaps in the connection, right? They weren't really honoring you or they weren't really... Um, giving you the attention that you deserved and that you wanted. And I think a lot of you guys, you could have been dealing with someone who was an attention seeker. They sought attention from other people, other places, other things. And a lot of you guys, you had to think about this. Is this someone that I want to continue to have in my life? Do I like the way that they make me feel? Right? So we have the two of wands, the two of swords. A lot of you guys are trying to make a decision about um investing about investing putting time energy and effort into this connection still and this is a very difficult decision with the two of swords right because a lot of you guys you almost feel like you're outgrowing this person the world card came out okay you guys are you've gone through some painful lessons we got the ten of swords maybe some of you guys you've been betrayed by other people in the past it could be this person or other people some of you guys you've come from a place of hurt of trauma you know you've been um wrong before and you know you're, you're not wanting to deal with people who perhaps don't um put their best foot forward to show you that you know you're that you mean something to them right so the world is really about you guys are very mature. You've learned your you learned your lessons, and you're not wanting to um, repeat past cycles, right? So, let's see what is going on with this person. Six of Pentacles came out in the verse. So I do feel, yeah, this is someone who had a very small offer, a page of cups, right? It's like they gave you very little, very very little, bare minimum, right? The page of cups is just a small little offer, saying, hey. You're on my mind, right? And a lot of you guys, you want it more, okay? There's a reason for how, perhaps. For some of you guys, why this person wasn't able to give you more. Ooh, the Nine of Swords came out. Why is the Nine of Swords with the Eight of Swords? So a lot of you guys, you're dealing with someone. The reason why you got just the Page of Cups energy is because this is someone who's very, very guarded, very hesitant. This is someone who spends a lot of time in their head. Could be another air sign, a Gemini, a Libra, Aquarius. But all these swords is telling me that your person is overthinking, okay? They're overthinking to the point where they, they push you away. They resist the connection. They give very little, right? The Page of Cups. Some of you guys, I do feel like they could be wanting to apologize for something, okay? But I think a lot of you guys, that Page of Cups with the Six of Pentacles is really about them giving less than, okay? Not giving you enough. And I do feel like... um. Perhaps they wanted to, but there's something about them being in their head. Maybe they, this is someone who uh, overthinks, they stress, okay? There's a lot of anxiety, a lot of worries here that may have kept them from being able to manifest something here with you. But they did believe in the connection. They felt the chemistry. They thought that you were special. They felt that um, this was something here that they wanted to manifest, right? They wanted to create with you. But some of you guys, I feel the reason is because... Um, they had experienced some kind of heartbreak in the past. Maybe they were just an option to someone else in the past. And so they kind of go about it the same way, right? They keep their options open so that they don't get hurt. They try not to overinvest in one situation here. So they could have been breadcrumbing you because, well, they were scared, right? They don't want to be vulnerable. They don't want to put all their marbles in one jar. So you're dealing with someone who, who came from a place of hurt, okay? And they may not be ready entirely for a commitment or relationship. So this is someone who sees moving forward with you as just you know they want to be single right this is someone who kind of just wants to work on themselves and they may not be in a place to offer a full-blown relationship just yet okay so whoever you're dealing with libra they may have had issues with committing to you for that reason because maybe again there's been some hurt here and so they keep their options open they bring maybe some confusion or their intentions aren't really clear so let's see what's coming in. A lot of you guys are not interested in that, right? You're just like, I've been there. I've done that. I've been patient with you. I still don't see you really taking much action toward me. 
right? A lot of you guys, some of you guys, you deal with someone who just literally spies on you. They kind of just watch you on Instagram, your stories, your posts, you know, um, but they don't really say much, right? This is someone who may be very immature, uh, king of swords in the page of swords in reverse. This is someone who literally watches you from a distance, but they don't say a goddamn word. But deep down, this is someone who wants to fight for the connection, right? Nine of Wands, they, they have not given up on you. They still believe in the connection, but this is someone who lacks confidence or isn't courageous. They don't want to make that big, bold move or they don't know how to come towards you because maybe some of you guys, again, they're not ready. Three of Swords, they may have come, again, from a place of hurt and they want to avoid that, okay? Like the plague, the tower in reverse. They don't want to get themselves in a situation here where they regret it or it turns into like chaos, a lot of drama, okay? But I do feel like a lot of you guys, you just don't have patience for that. You don't have patience for... You know, people who just give you less than and who just, you know, who aren't serious about really taking action and moving forward. But I do feel a lot of you guys, we have the Knight of Cups coming out with the Justice. Yeah, I do feel like this is someone who's going to come rushing in. We got Leo, Sag, Aries energy, Libra, that's you. Um, and we have um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. There's someone rushing in. We got two nights. So there's definitely rushing in with passion and with emotions, okay? And it looks like the goal is to have some kind of reunion here, the Three of Cups. Let's get together, Libra. Let's drink. Let's just make up. Let's have fun. Um, let's reconcile. Let's get on the same page. And then also, let's bring balance back to the connection. Um, let's. I, I want to make things right. I want to do better. I want to do right by you, okay? So that is what I have for you, Libra. If this is your reading, like, share comment and subscribe you know what i'm gonna get a few cards um from the divine love oracle let's see what messages we have that this is one of my oracle decks on my etsy shop um check it out if you're interested okay all right what messages do we have for libra libra okay oh we got two cards immaturity so some of you guys are dealing with someone who's very immature okay um very acting very young okay or just like I got that page of swords energy again they, they rather watch than say something right the emperor in a verse definitely someone who's a little bit immature and who isn't really able to take the right action towards you so it says um somebody someone is emotionally and spiritually undeveloped causing a distorted outlook on a situation here okay so some of you guys are definitely dealing with someone who's immature we also have karma okay and we do got the karma card right we got the world paired with the ten of swords this is definitely maybe you guys have gone through in the past okay some kind of situation here where you've learned some karmic lesson or you know it could be good or bad but okay so the universe will ensure energy is restored and in balance okay some of you guys the tower is here because you know what the tower does right it clears out anything that is stuck um if anything is in balance you know it clears it out so something here can be um restored back to balance okay so uh, or built on a solid structure so um, let's get one more card here, okay? Let's get one more card for Libra. All right, we have Illumination, okay? And Illumination, it says the path to be taken will be illuminated. So some of you guys, you may be unclear as to how to move forward, but it looks like there's something here where it's going to be illuminated to you as to how to do that, how to take action, how to move forward, and which path to take, Okay. All right, so Libra, that's what I have for you guys. Um, your bonus reading is up on Vimeo for April 20th to the 30th. How does your person feel? All right, you guys, enjoy. Take care.